Hello, I'm Venerable Metterjee speaking to you on behalf of the Australian Sanger Association. At our recent annual general meeting, the members unanimously endorsed an oath proposed to us by the Alliance for Buddhist Ethics, asking us to speak out against harm in any teacher or student relationship. Monastics of Australia abhor any abuse of an exploitative nature, whether it is financial, sexual, physical, emotional, or social. Sadly, cases have come up in Australia in recent times, and we need to keep our policies and efforts very cur current, sufficient that any student feels that they're in a place of trust that they can respect the teacher and go to them with their concerns. We also need to remind everybody that they have access to the police and the laws of Australia in their protection and encourage anyone to come forward if they have any concerns. The Buddhist teachings abhor any abuse of any type and you won't find anything that would say we could detract from this view in the Vinaya to many of us, it is a really important part of being a monastic that we hold to the highest level of ethical standards. So I'd now like to take the oath in front of you so you have a sense of what will be in that oath and then explain to you some of the procedures after I've taken it. There are four parts to the oath. I, in the practice of the Dharma, I hold the student-teacher relationship to be a sacred connection which prioritizes the spiritual development, maturation and well-being of the student. Similarly, I hold that Dharma organizations exist to provide safe environments which allow those who practice Dharma to thrive in supportive communities. Founded on the aspirations of goodwill for all, and supported by a strong ethical foundation of non-harming. I acknowledge that any behavior which would be categorized as abusive, whether emotional, physical, financial, psychological, or sexually, or which is exploitative, coercive, or an abuse of power, or which attempts to cover up such behavior, is harmful and unnecessary in the practice of the Dharma. It is unacceptable in all circumstances. I'm aware that harm has been caused by failures to meet these standards in the past, and I declare my commitment to maintaining them for the well being and benefit of all. May this commitment help the Dharma to flourish, both now and in the future, and may it help to alleviate suffering and create a more compassionate world. The Australian Sangha Association will shortly put the oath up on the website and encourage all monastics in Australia to sign. If they sign, we would like them to explain to their communities that they have, and all lay teachers in their organisations encourage those lay teachers to sign too. I hope this oath cascades around the world and people understand its seriousness, the sacred oath that we have taken and that we can all stand together against abuse in any form. Thank you for listening to me.